and they found something, the home of Abinians, which is a fossil of a human ancestor. And it was found in something which seemed to be a toilet. Now let's go to the Sahara Desert for extra details with our news reporter, Maria Duarte. Good morning. I am currently in the Sahara Desert where the Homo Fornimbus fossil was found. They, they put a pole here in order to know exactly where the fossil was found, which is currently under there. They couldn't dig from on top of the fossil for security reasons and because damage could have happened to the fossil. So they had to take the hole here and dig a diagonal, a diagonal tunnel so they could reach the fossil. They planted trees in, in order to have oxygen and we can't show the fossils for security reasons. However, when the fossils can be shown, uh, the, our company will film the fossils and talk a bit more about them. The fossils were found by two paleontologists dug up by the University of Chicago where the two professors worked and ran test by the, labor the famous laboratory of Chicago. The laboratory of Chicago soon discovered that the fossil was a human ancestor. Thank you. Professor Lefeld, what did you think about this discovery? I think it's a very rare discovery because I've never seen anything like this. The homo for a minibus probably had microscopic holes in its bones so that they could travel through it and it wouldn't get too hot. It probably had no hair and hard skin so that it wouldn't get burned when it walked in the sand. Professor Abusha, or should I say, Professor Wasabi. What do you think about this discovery? Okay, so the first thing um, is that she had a Jude, uh, the, the um, nickname for the for this new discovery, would have probably had a visual flat nose that, and was probably at the age of 20 when she died. How, um, what's the difference between her and Lucy? Um, she was like, this was a massive discovery and leaves it in time before Lucy, in other words, bye bye Lucy. And did the Homo for Nimbus stand up straight? Um, Jude stands upright and has the same size uh, skull as ours. Thank you. Professor Lafelt, why do you think you found this fossil? Uh, um, digging a hole? Um, what's your predictions for why the fossil was uncovered? I predict it's 5 million years old and I think it was uncovered because of the sun storm called Kristoff that had just hit Sahara in the previous week. Thank you. What an amazing discovery. The professors hope that one day it can be put in the museum and be adored by the public. Good night.